glad you're back for the third and final video in this series of three. Previously in video one, I reviewed the swap method. In video number two, I showed you how to make a simple, delicious recipe from the Cleansing Life Reset Cookbook. And I answered two of the top questions that you asked about what it takes to lose weight, get healthier, and feel your best with the Cleansing Life 21 Day Program. You asked, how can I eat out while at a party with friends, with family, or traveling? And also, I'm busy with life. How can I not spend forever in the kitchen? I've put the links to those videos below in case you missed them. In today's video, I'll show you how to make a natural lemon wood and stainless steel polish using essential oils and some simple ingredients you've got on hand. Lemon essential oil, olive oil, white vinegar, and a little bit of water. Finally, I'll share a story, a case study, from Cleansing Life alum, Cheryl. So let's dive right in. Before we even get to the recipe, why should you even care about making your own beauty and cleaning products? I thought we were talking about diet. Well, healthy living is more than diet alone. It includes what you eat, how you think, how you handle stress, how you move your body, connections with others, what you put on your body, and so much more. So for purposes of time, we'll talk about what we put on our bodies. First, keep in mind that we absorb 60% of what comes in contact with our skin. It's our largest organ. I don't know about you, but I am sensitive to smell. I hate walking down the cleaning and laundry aisles because they smell so strong. But let's say you stroll down the aisle and pick up a common brand. It should be fine, right? They wouldn't let them put it on the shelf if it wasn't, right? Well, let's take a deeper dive and review the ingredients in a well-known commercial brand of wood polish just to get a better picture. Here are a few of the ingredients. Whoa, that's a lot. We don't have time to research all of them, but let's take a look at just a few using one of my favorite research tools from the Environmental Working Group. I use the EWG when I do research for my programs. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is dimethicone, which is a lubricating and conditioning agent. Here we've got a moderate concern, organ system toxicity, hmm, okay. And it's also classified as expected to be toxic or harmful. How about another ingredient, polysorbate 80. This ingredient in itself doesn't cause too much worry. It's an emulsifier for cleaning and beauty products. Here's where you run into trouble with it. It might not be toxic, but there could be a chance it's been contaminated with 1,4-dioxane, a known carcinogen, and ethylene oxide. So let's dive into ethylene oxide. We've got some big concerns here in regards to irritation. What else? Ah, a known carcinogen. What else? Let's be clear. I'm not saying these contaminants are in this product. I'm saying there's a possibility that some of the ingredients may or may not be contaminated. Okay, anything else? I found quite a few more concerning substances, but we'll stop there. I think you get the picture. Yes, these products may be safe to use once or twice, but we come in contact with countless contaminants throughout the day in our cleaning and beauty products. I once read that the number is upwards of 98 products per day. Many bioaccumulate, meaning they build up in your body over time. And do you really want to do all the research every time you pick up a product or make something simple that works at home and that may even have benefits? We've got lemon essential oil used to help with concentration and alertness and has antimicrobial properties that are great for our bodies, but also help with cleaning power. Olive oil is a safe and natural option. It softens your skin and may even reduce wrinkles. Vinegar is great for balancing pH and also has lots of antimicrobial properties. So that's it. I'll give you the ratios and you can add more oil for more conditioning and more vinegar for additional penetration if needed. Let's get to the kitchen and I'll show you how easy it is to make this natural lemon wood and stainless polish. 
We're in the kitchen and we're ready to make our DIY all natural lemon wood and stainless steel polish and cleaner. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take one third cup water and I'm gonna put it into any kind of container. Then I'm gonna take one third cup white vinegar. I'm gonna pour this into the same container. The reason I'm doing this is because I have four ounce containers that I'm gonna be pouring into these spray bottles. And this recipe makes a little bit more. So I'm gonna be filling up my four ounce bottle and then a backup. Okay, then what we're going to do is one tablespoon of olive oil, two teaspoons to one tablespoon of olive oil. You can add more or less as you like. You can add more olive oil for more conditioning or more vinegar if you want more penetration. So what we're gonna then do is add 20 drops of lemon essential oil. That smells so great. So I'm gonna get a spoon and mix this up because I'm gonna be pouring this into multiple bottles. So I want it to be already mixed. So I'm going to now use my funnel so I can get it into this little bottle. And I'm just gonna start pouring it in there. And then every time I use this to polish my wood or my stainless steel, I will just shake it up to make sure it's mixed well. So I'm gonna do this bottle in a backup bottle and it really smells lemony and wonderful. And that's it, there you go. You can just use this with either some old newspaper, you can use it with kitchen towels, or if you've got paper towels, those are a little less sustainable, but you can go ahead and use that. But I think you're really gonna love this. I can't wait to hear what you think. And now I'd love you to meet Cheryl, a wife, mom, and lover of an active lifestyle. When her health started getting in the way of doing what she loves, she found me through a mutual yoga class. I had asked her if I could ask her a few questions about her story, and she agreed. I'm so grateful she found a few minutes in her active life to share with us. I think you'll love her for her real, down-to-earth style. Uh, my first question would be just about your background. What? Tell me a little bit about your background, and then we'll talk about the challenges you were facing before. Um, Stay-at-home mom, for the most part. I worked part-time in nursing for a long time, and then after we moved here from New Jersey, I worked as a tennis instructor. So, you know, relatively lazy. Um, didn't do a great job feeding my kids, I don't think. Didn't do a great job feeding myself. Uh, had uh, gestational diabetes with my second, so mm. always knew that that was on the horizon. It was looming large. Mm. But, you know, I'm not hugely overweight, didn't look like it ever. Yeah. And I was, you know, a little chunky like most people are, but nothing glaring. Yeah. Um, and so I just kind of assumed that I was fine, and then I found out I wasn't. So then began a, about a three-year struggle with the type 2 diabetes, you know, mm -hmm. on, had on medicine. Struggle with the diet, got off the medicine, couldn't maintain it, mm -hmm. back on the medicine, just starting to feel like absolute crap. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, 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 I'm hungry. I was hungry all the time. Just didn't feel good. Literally felt sick most of the time, and just so exhausted. Yeah. And I just, I remember, and I was on. The, the, I think the big catalyst for wanting to change was the um, when I had to start taking cholesterol medicine. Mm -hmm. And within three weeks of cholesterol medicine, I was cramping in my calves and oh. I couldn't even exercise. So that wasn't going to be, that was not going to work for me. Yeah. So I knew I had to do something. And someone had mentioned that you knew some foods maybe that would help me <laughs> lose, you know, get, get you yeah. know, help reduce my cholesterol. Yeah. And so I saw you that one day, it was a Friday. I remember distinctly it was Friday. I felt like crap. And I said, you know, What's, what do I need to do? And you said you were starting this program on Monday. And I was like, okay, I'm in. <laughs> what did you try before? So you were doing the meds and you tried anything else before? Tons of the Atkins, you know, okay. because as a diabetic, you, know, you kind of think, oh, well, I just won't eat the yeah, carbs. carbs yeah. Well, that's just great to lose some weight, but to try to live with no carbs, <laughs> like permanently was not gonna happen because yeah. I love carbs. It just, I felt so.
so different after starting but within a week. A week? It took a couple yeah. days. I mean, it did take a couple of days for sure. What, what do you remember was the first thing that you noticed that was a difference? I had a lot more energy. Mood elevating as well. Lots of energy. Um, it didn't really drop a whole lot of weight at the, the first week. It was more after that, it kind of started to just melt off a little bit. Mm -hmm. What what do you feel like is different from this program from other programs that that you saw success so quickly? Well, kind of understanding how to crowd stuff out as opposed to mm -hmm. as opposed to not having things. Yeah. Uh, you know, I didn't really feel deprived. Yeah. Because I did eat and I didn't worry about calories. Yeah. The first month I got my cholesterol checked, I got everything checked and I was able to get off my um, diabetic medicine and my cholesterol medicine because my cholesterol had dropped like an absurd amount. Yeah. I, I want to say it was like 220 and it dropped down to like 170. That's awesome. So I mean it was kind of like crazy how quickly too. Yeah. Um, my blood sugars, uh, they do A1C, went from a, like a 6.2 down to like a 5.8. Mm -hmm. And then six weeks after that, it was still a 5.8, so he completely, you know, that was off medicine. That's amazing. You know, and I, so I stopped taking blood pressure medicine at this time. So I don't take anything now. I think, let's see, I think that's all I've got. I um, just wanted to get a general overview of how everything went, and so I really appreciate no your problem. time. I highly recommend this program. I still, my mother did it. My mother's still doing it. Awesome! Good for her. As I wrap up this video, I wanted to let you know that I answered a bunch of your questions in a second video just below this on the page because I didn't want this one to get too long. But please know that through my 21 day program, you'll finally be free from counting calories, fat, carbs, points, you name it and you'll get to experience all the benefits that a whole foods lifestyle has to offer. Energy to do the things that you want to do. Maybe cook a healthy dinner, take a walk in nature with your loved one, um, play with your kids. You'll be able to go to the bathroom regularly and reach your ideal weight so you can confidently fit into that favorite pair of jeans. There isn't a person on this planet that couldn't gain benefit from adding more delicious plant foods to their diet. And even when you experience setbacks, you'll be armed with the tools and the knowledge you'll need to get right back on track without hunger or guilt or exhausting exercise. You'll be better equipped to manage stress and will have the tools you need to get your home free of harmful toxins. I see a future of vitality where instead of focusing on your weight or your aches and pains, you can focus on reaching your goals and dreams. In the next video I send out, I'm gonna have an offer for you, and you need to watch if you're ready to take your transformation to the next level. What I'm going to offer only rolls around four times a year, and I know you wanna get started right away. So be on the lookout for the next email because this will be a limited offer. Thanks so much for watching, and if you like this video, please comment below and share it with your friends and on social media. Stay tuned for the next video. I can't wait to see you there.